Hi friends, welcome to WebChamp. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to find L the highest value from a column in SQL. So obviously, this is one of the uh, very famous interview question uh, regarding the SQLs. If you are a Java developer, if you are a Python developer, or if you are a data analyst. So this question might come to you to, in an interview. So I will discuss how to answer this question and what are all different ways to achieve the output. Okay. So here, let's say I have a table called employee. Okay, I have taken the employee example. And if you look in this table, there is something called employee salary. Last column is employee salary. And my interest is to find out the nth highest salary of salary from this column. Okay, so how to do this? Okay, in case of SQL Server and database, what you can do, you can use offset and fetch first n rows only. Okay, but in case of MySQL, instead of uh, these two, you, you need to use the limit and offset together. Okay. Very similarly, here in case of SQL Server, you need to use offset and per page first n number of row. So let's do this by using offset and page first n rows. So if I say select, let me so like this, if I say select distinct, okay, because if the numbers are getting duplicated, okay, if, if you see here, so two peoples have the same salary. So there is no meaning to keep the duplicate records in, in our query, because we are interested in nth highest number. So if our record, records are getting duplicated, then we will get the incorrect result. So it is always better to remove the duplicate that's why i use select distinct what is my interest so my interest is from the employee table and i have to page the details of employee salary if you run this query you will get something like this okay. so now question is that we what we want is we want one specific value Okay, but from from highest side. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to sort this data in one of the order. So by default order is ascending order, and this is not going to help us because we are interested in highest salary first. So here I will say sort the data in descending order. So once we sort the data in descending order, now it's time to use the offset. So how offset is used to define how many number of rows you wanted to skip. Okay. So I will say offset tree. Okay. And here you need to write like this. Rows. Offset three rows. And then pitch first n rows only okay this is what the statement you need to use but instead of n here you need to pass one so you need to use the combination of these two so if you say offset three this will skip first three rows and return the fourth n number of rows meaning rows from fourth onward but we are interested in only one value so we will say here as first one row only. Now, if I run this, so you will be able to see the fourth highest value, which is 25,000. If I run this, so you are able to see the output. Now, if I say I would like to find out the fifth highest value, so you need to use skip the first four rows. So I, I will say offset four, page one. Okay, so this will return me. A fifth highest salary. Since I have five five values only, so I I will not go ahead with the five values. But you can use the offset to skip the n number of rows and fetch 
the next row value using this statement. But this is the one way to achieve our result. Now next is that uh, there is a way, one more way to do this. Okay. So in case of SQL Server, sometimes uh, we can use, okay, instead of this, which first end rows will be, we can use top statement. So if I say select top one, I am interested in only one. Okay. Select top one from what? So I will say employee salary. So I will uh, you copy the distinct also because I'm interested in distinct values only. Top one employee salary from employee. Okay. Now, now how to filter the data? Okay. So here again. Uh, order by is very much important. So I will put the order by. Okay. But the question is that we need to, if you want to use the subfield with top. So what we will do, we will use where clause to filter. Okay. You cannot use the where clause after the order by. So you need to use the where clause before the order by. So I will say where. Okay. Where. And then where the salary of, meaning the employee salary Okay, not in why I'm doing this. Okay, so here I will use sub query, which is going to return me the first four values. First four n values. Okay, so same statement I will copy. Okay, and let me skip this because I'm going to use this order by here. Select distinct top one employee from employee where ordered by. Okay. So this, what this is going to do is, this is going to return us the first four highest values. Okay. See here, uh, we don't need to use, let's say, four. okay, we can use, because I have to skip first four values. So we need to use the top with four values. So this is, this behaves like offset, okay, meaning, Offset is used to directly skip the rows, but here, what we are doing, we are using filter and we are filtering out the data. These four values, meaning where, whenever there is a, these employee salary is equal to 35,000, 30, 1,027, 1,025,000, I don't want a record. Okay. So this is what I'm doing by using not in. Right. So based on the employee salary, I'm going to filter out these top four values with this query, this sub query. And then, If I use this, okay, this is going to work. Let's say if I wanted to find out the third highest salary, which is 27,000. Okay. If I run this, okay, so three plus one, 25 we are getting. Let's say if you want to third, so I will say top two plus one, three. Right. So this is how 27,000 we will get. Fourth salary is 25th and fifth is 20,000. If I run this much statement, you will be able to see that these many four, five values are there. And we are able to get the result using top statement also. But we need to filter out the data using this. So there is one more way. Okay. So you can use all operator also. The same thing we are going to do. Same thing. So if I copy this query and I will change the query in the following way, you can just follow. Instead of not in, what we can do, we can say employee salary is less than all. Okay. So all, what it is going to do, this will return us the uh, first two salaries. Okay. And any salary, okay. Any salary which is lesser than these two salary, this statement is going to, this entire statement is going to return us. Okay. So what I will do, if I remove the top, we will see three values. We will see three values, 27,000, 25,000, and 20,000. But if I, what I want is, I want only one value. So I will say top one. So again, this is going to behave us, or this is going to return us the nth highest value. But you need to say nth is nothing but top of main query plus top of 
sub query. So here, if you want a fourth value, so I will say three. Three plus one, four. Okay. So this will return us twenty-five thousand, right? If you use four here, it will return us fifth value because four plus one is twenty-five. Okay. So this is how you need to build the queries. You need to build the logic to find the nth highest value. Okay. So I shown you three ways. And you can use all these three ways with a top you cannot use, but first one you can use with the Oracle also. But in case of sequence server, all the three ways are possible. Even this is also possible with the any type of databases. Okay, but if you want to do the same with MySQL, so what you need to do is you need to use the limit instead of offset here. In case of MySQL, okay, if I go down and I will write the query for you. If the database is MySQL, what you can do, you can say here limit one and offset four, three, two, whatever will be the value. Okay, but my uh, SQL server do not support the limit and offset, that's fine. Together, offset is support, but it do not support the limit. That's why we, I can go ahead and execute this. But this is the way to achieve our result. So I hope you like the content of this video. So I will say, please do not forget to share this video with your friends so that they can also learn how to attain, how to answer the SQL interview questions in real time scenarios. So. Thank you so much for watching the video. Have a nice day.